It's WrestleMania week. That's right. WrestleMania 38 is this week. And in Lighten for the WrestleMania week, we're going to bring the man himself, Mr. WrestleMania, The Undertaker. And his late colleague, Paul Berra. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Paul Berra, sculpted by Russ Lukic. This Paul Berra mask looks identical to what Paul Berra really looks like in real life. Well, used to look like in real life. Rest in peace. Paul Berra was the manager of Undertaker through the early 90s into the mid 90s. The dark shadowing around his eyes, the goofy lips, the creepy mustache all look identical to what he actually had in his in ring look this mask was made in 2017 and this mask goes for between 39.99 and 49.99 on a trick or treat studios website it occasionally goes on sale and this is a common mask paul berra oh yes May he rest in peace. This is the Undertaker mask. An incredible replica of what he really looks like in real life. A solid 10 out of 10. This mask looks identical to him. It's very oversized though. This will actually fit a guy that's his actual height at 6 foot 11. Doesn't fit me. I'm an average guy at 5 foot 11. Looks a little oversized on my shoulders. But this mask has amazing hair. It don't fall out. They just did an amazing job with this mask. The Undertaker made his debut in 1990 at the Survivor Series and took the entire audience by storm. He kept the character going on for 10 years, turned into the American Badass, did an incredible job with that. And when he started degressing in his career, when he started getting more and more slow and lost his athletic ability, turned back to the Undertaker persona. This mask is amazing. This is a must-have in a collection. He is Mr. WrestleMania. This is WrestleMania week. The Undertaker mask. Come in at $59.99 with a solid 8 out of a 10 rating from me. I'll tell you, Trick or Treat Studios does not ever fail. Occasionally they do, but this time they didn't. Although he don't have authentic hair. It, it's this mask is really 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 amazing it's a little small if bailey gets around the back of your neck back here like it don't cover the back of your neck but it'll fit your head and it's it fits a it pretty decent it's one of those squeeze on ones it's not like loose around the neck so the wearability isn't too well uh, not much air gets in to keep you from sweating but this mask Looks just like, I might give it a 9 out of a 10 for the, the look. The quality is a 10 out of a 10. The feel of it is around a 6 out of a 10. This is a good mask. It's an 8 out of a 10. Same with The Undertaker. This is my all-time favorite wrestler. When I tell you this man loves Halloween just like I do, you're going to see he has a haunted house. If you can, go YouTube it. He has his own backyard haunted house every year on Halloween. He He's the definition of what? A professional wrestler career should look like. He started in WCW back in 1987 as Mean Mark. His real name is Mark Calloway. Um, his special move was called the Heart Punch. Um, WCW didn't really know what to do with his character, but Vince McMahon really liked his size and had a great idea what he could do with The Undertaker. Well, at the time, Mark Calloway. He gave The Undertaker the idea 
of to use the the Undertaker persona, and Undertaker loved it. He's a huge, huge fan of Halloween, and then to do it, that went right up his alley. But the Undertaker was born in 1990, and Ted DiBiase walked him down the ring, and everyone went nuts. When I tell you they went nuts, they couldn't get enough of him. People were dressing up like him. There was nothing like the early 90s wrestling. There's so many great characters. And for this one to stand out in all those characters, and still to this day, stand out. It's just, I know I'm going off topic. I'm not talking about masking. I'm talking about The Undertaker, but this man deserves it. He's a great person. Mark Calloway, The Undertaker. This mask is an 8 out of a 10 just because of how, it's a 10 out of a 10 for the, for the look. The quality is a 10 out of a 10, but the wearability just isn't for an average guy. It's like a, a 3 out of a 10, but I give it an 8 out of a 10. They go together like peas and carrots. The Undertaker and Paul Barra. That's the review. I'd like to give a special shout out to Jacob Smith from Texas. Thank you for showing your appreciation for the channel by becoming one of my new subscribers and, and let me know that. Thanks, Jacob. Keep watching, bud. Mr. Halloween.